I want to help you develop your game plan for making your family so attractive that even the neighbor kids want to join your family. I mean, I'm telling you, there are some powerful things that you can do uh, that will make your family uh, attractive, that, that every, every, every child in your family can't wait to get to your house. There's this place of peace, there's this oasis called their home, uh, and it is, a, it is a refuge from all the dysfunction of the world. I know how many times I've heard our kids and our kids' friends talk about how the stuff that goes on at school and the kids, the stuff that's happened in these kids' lives, I'm telling you, I mean, it is like uh, a soap opera, the stuff that's happening and the, the drama that takes place. In fact, you want to make your home the most attractive place. You actually want it to become the hub where all the other kids want to come to your house. One of the things you can do to make your home the most attractive place is food. Feed everybody, all right? Always keep some extra cookies on hand or, uh, you know, the drinks, whatever. Make your home a place where the kids can't wait to come over to your house because there's always something there to eat. Another thing you can do is develop a family night. Your family night will become the most powerful thing you can do. And if you'll, if you'll look there, uh, we've given you a link to several great websites that will help you develop what you're going to do on your family night. A family night is once a week. Uh, nothing gets in the way of that night. It might be a Friday night for you or a Saturday night. Some even do it on Sunday night. It's a great opportunity uh, for you to have a uh, total focus just on your family. None of the neighbor kids can come. Uh, this is just your family. Now, they may be standing out outside looking in the window going, man, I wish I could get in there where they're having all of that family time, right? Uh, another thing you can do is have, have your kids limit time spent with their friends. You know, if they're not showing that they are treating each other better than their best friend, uh, then one of the things, one of the punishments is they don't get to spend time with their with their friends. They have to spend time with their with their siblings uh, until they can learn uh, to treat their siblings with the same semblance of kindness they treat their best friend with, right? So that's another powerful thing you can do is just limit time spent with friends. In fact, I have a whole list of things you can do at the link that you can download to make your family attractive. And then we want to hear from you. What are some things you are doing that makes your family attractive? Uh, we want to learn from you and then we want to spread this to everybody we can. Um, the next thing you want to do is, is, is really bring about a, a complete stop to all the sibling bickering that goes on in your family. What are some things you can do to, uh, to, to make that happen? We had one family, a uh, father and a son, who said, you know what, we know our job is to build up and to bless and to honor his wife and then his son, his younger sister. And so they came up with this really cool plan to, uh, uh, to say something encouraging uh, for two weeks, every day for two weeks. If they missed one time, uh, the, they had to start over. They had to do it every day for two weeks. If they, fit, if they did it, they got to go to the local ice cream store and get the kitchen sink, which is the uh, the ice cream bowl that's just like as big as a kitchen sink, all right? So they did it, and they made this vow. I remember one, uh, it said one night um, their, their son had uh, been on, at a track meet, got up at 6 a.m., went to the track meet, didn't get, get home till 10 p.m. His dad said, hey, um, did you say something encouraging to your sister today? He said, no, Dad, I was at that, um, uh, I was at that track meet all day. He said, uh, well, go in there. She's not asleep yet. Go in there to her room and say something encouraging. So he goes in and sticks his head in the room and says, hey, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you keeping your room clean. You always keep everything in its place. You always clean up. Mom never has to come in and clean your room like she does mine. Would you, uh, I just want you to know how, how much I appreciate um, uh, you keeping your room clean. You know, his sister nearly falls out of the bed, you know. What do you want? <laughs> you know? But they did it, and it just it did something powerful for his wife and for, for his son. Uh, that's how you can really fix uh, this sibling bickering, is that uh, you just create some kind of a game like that. Another family said, you know what we did? We had a Family Member of the Week award. So on our family night, we would have everyone vote as to who in the family most invested in the lives of their siblings that week. Boy, what a great way for you then to give, a, give out a, a little award to, to, the, to the son or daughter that most invested in the lives of their family. In fact, again, uh, you can download another page that has several other ideas for you to turn the sibling rivalry into um, uh, some health and happiness among your siblings. Here's some great ideas for dads. Dads, I want you to develop a special night out once a month with each of your kids. 
you know, I started taking our daughters. We have five girls. And so I started taking them out on a date night. Guys, that's the most important thing I've ever done is take my girls out on a date night. In fact, the date really isn't nearly as important as just the anticipation of the day that we're gonna go do that. They talk about it, they get all dressed up and I get to take them out and I get to speak into their life. I get to sh tell them the answer to this question that every girl has. Dad, am I worth, am I worth something? Am I valuable? Am I pretty? Uh, am I worth fighting for? Guys, that is this question that is surging in the heart of our girls, our wives and our daughters. Guys, you've got to be the man that st stands up and answers that question with a resounding, honey, you are so beautiful. You are so valuable. You are the apple of my eye. You are the, the joy of my heart. Uh, you are worth fighting for. Uh, I will give everything to fight for you. That is what the world needs to hear. Satan hates women and he hates your family and he hates your wife and he hates your daughters. He's going to do everything he can to totally wound them and hurt them. They say the number one reason that a woman goes to the emergency room in the United States is not because of a car accident, not because she got sick with the flu. The number one reason is that she was beat by a man. Man, what a horrible thing. Any culture that doesn't protect their women, that culture will die. So we've got to change that. We've got to turn this thing around. We've got to show the honor and respect that God has for us as dads. Dad, you're the one that sets the tone. You're the one that makes that happen. Uh, have a weekly game night. I'm telling you, you set up the game night. Uh, we have some great, we got great ideas on the stuff you can download on, on uh, having a great game night for your family. Uh, also, some fun activities. I want you to be sure and get the information on doing a socks off, uh, and then doing a like a family airplane uh, night. You can anybody can fold an airplane. Uh, ask your kids if you don't know how. Okay, fold a paper airplane and do airplane contests. Also, we have a, the 15 qualities that we want our kids to be like when they're 15. If you would, download that information and look at those 15 qualities that we wanted our kids to be like when they're 15 years old. Someone said, Greg, you've got to draw an artist rendering of what you want your kid's character to look like uh, when they're 15. And for some of you, you have a five-year-old, okay? Then these are the five qualities we want you to have when you're a five-year-old. These are the six qualities we want you to have when you're six. These are the three qualities we want you to have as a three-year-old. And then you put those qualities up in their bedroom. And I'm telling you, your children will look at that as a mirror. And they look into that mirror and they become the image they see upon that wall. That is what I'm talking about. You can do these little things to make your family so attractive that I'm telling you, uh, the world just can't compete. Uh, the, the movie industry can't compete. The video game industry can't compete. So God is calling us to this powerful thing. We also came up with this idea, of, uh, I heard at some seminar, a father paid his children to read books and put the money in their car fund. So we gave our kids a challenge at age 15. If they read 25 books, give us a one-page book report, then at age 16, we'd buy them a car. No, not, a, not a new car, a, a good used car. You know, your first car needs to be a bumper car, right? Something you can bump into stuff with. And so we did that. I'm telling you, the power that that did, the, the, now the books that our girls and I have in common is unbelievable. Our relationship has been enhanced and built because of that. These are some great things you can do. So go to the link, download the material, and I'm telling you, you're going to create a family that is so attractive, everybody wants to join.